Hello everyone. It's Saturday, August 20th, and I am, this is my third day after my knee surgery, and I just wanted to talk a little bit more about that. I'm actually doing really well. Um, I posted the other day on the day of the surgery of how well I was doing. Um, on that day, um, they had done a nerve block above my knee and it numbed everything from above my knee down. So yeah, I was doing really well and I was doing some walking and you know, not, not any weight bearing too much, but, um, and I was using a walker to help. Um, but during that night, oh my goodness, that nerve block started to wear off and I, started having, the pain started kicking in, and then by the next day, my pain was intense, and I was taking the pain medicine that they had given me, and um, it really wasn't helping, so I called the doctor's office, and they gave me something a little bit stronger, and um, once I got a couple doses of that, it gave me so much relief and I was able to get up and start moving again. It's still not putting a lot of pressure on my knee or on that, on that leg, but at least I was able to get up. And of course with that, you know, I, was, I have to lay down and elevate and do ice packs. They recommend doing ice packs every 20 minutes, especially those first two days. Um, so that the stronger med was just temporary just to kind of get me through that hump and then uh, to go back to the other. In fact, I'm on the pain medicine right now, so I might be a little loopy. Um, anyway, the, what I had was a knee arthroscopy. They did not cut my knee open. Uh, somebody wanted me to explain a little bit more about my knee surgery. What they did is they went in with two puncture wounds and they went in with a camera so they could see into the knee socket. And um, I had a lot of torn cartilage and I have arthritis in that knee. Um, they cleaned up in there and um, removed some type of foreign object. I'm still not sure what that was. I am assuming that it was a bone fragment. From what I was researching online, that's probably what that was. Um, I don't know anything else about the meniscus or the cyst. So when I go follow up to see the doctor, I will. I have a list of questions already to ask him when I go in and see. Um, of course, after your after surgery and you're in the recovery room, if he comes and talks to you, rarely do you even remember seeing him or or anything. So, anyway, um, but I do go to follow up with a PA this Wednesday, and that's probably just to get the little sutures out of my knee. There's not very many. Um, but, I'll, like I said previously, there was apparently some controversy, um, about taking Qsemia and having this surgery. Um, I saw someone post that you needed to be off the Qsemia for about two weeks, even prior to the surgery, and I was not told to do that. And then someone said that I needed to be off it at least the day of the surgery, and I was actually told that it would be okay to take that, and um, and I took it as my um, as I was told I could, and I did not seem to have any problem. The only information that I found is that the Qsemia with the pain medication could make me extra sleepy. And I have been sleepy, but 
I don't know if it's necessarily that or if it's just a normal side effect from taking pain medication. Um, who knows? I did a lot of research myself. I even went to the FDA.gov and looked up the Qsemia. I did not see anything on there regarding um, that had any warnings or contraindications about stopping that medication for surgery. And I went to other resources and could not find anything. However, I did find two YouTube videos and it was two different doctors that did say that you should stop the medication. However, they did not state a reason why or give a resource for that. Um, and being that I'm a registered nurse, I'm more of a, I want facts and I want data to back that up. So, I still would like to know more information. And so, if anyone out there has any information or research studies on that, please let me know. Um, I will say, since the surgery, I've continued on my Qsemia, and I have been able to stay on my meal plan. And... Um, as with any surgery, especially with me, and I think with a lot of people, it's common for your bowels to slow up. And um, I just immediately, I, I took, I take Miralax every day, but I made sure I was, con I took it faithfully before the surgery, and I made sure I was taking it every day after and I've been taking a Senna um, it's like a natural laxative and I was getting concerned and finally today I did start having some bowel movements because that is kind of scary after a surgery so especially when you're on pain medicine and anesthesia um, so always watch out for that if you have to go in and have any type of surgical procedures so, um, anyway, that's about it. So, if you have any questions or comments, just leave those below. Um, don't forget to like or subscribe, and I will keep you updated, and um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.